Hello there. In this short video, we're going to show you just how easy it is to set up your AB split tests on your WordPress website using the AB split test plugin. Okay, so I've got a very, very simple homepage here, and the intention is to change a button. I'm going to show variations of a red button and a blue button to my site visitors, but at the minute you can see we've only got a red button. But before we do the whole process of getting a blue button on the site, what we need to do is go and set up a of an AB split test. And we do that by going to the WordPress dashboard. And down here we have AB split tests. And I'm going to add a new AB split test. Now I need to call it something memorable. And in this case, because I'm testing a red button versus a blue button, that seems like a memorable title to me. Now there are a bunch of settings down here, but we don't need to worry too much. We're going to leave them as the default for now. But our data, when it is receiving data from website visitors, will be displayed here. And I'm going to point your attention to the fact that we're using the conversion module, although we have some various other options here based upon what you have set up in your website. So I'm going to publish that. And now if we go back to all A-B tests, you'll see we have a red blue button test there. OK, let's go back to the page. Now, at the moment, we only have the red button. And if we click on the Beaver Builder option at the top, because this page was created with Beaver Builder, then we are going to use the Beaver Builder interface to duplicate the button. So let's do that. And we click the duplicate over here. Now, this button is perfectly OK. It's red. Let's change this one so that it becomes blue. First of all, let's change its text uh, to say blue button. And then in the styles, let's go down and simply make it a nice blue color. OK, that's fine. All right, let's save that away. We're not quite done because we need to in some way inform the AB split test plugin for WordPress that this is the red one and this is a different one and it's blue. Now, the way we're going to do that is clicking on the button settings and go to the advanced tab and scroll to the bottom until we see AB split test. Now, I'm going to search for the test or the experiment that we set up earlier. And we set up this one, if you remember, red, blue button. Now, I'm going to call this first one default. I could have called it anything. So for example, red or one. But it says here, using default will cause this version to run first unless otherwise targeted. So this seems like a sensible default. OK, let's click Save. Now I need to do the same for the blue button. Again, we'll go to the Advanced tab, scroll to the bottom, select the test. OK, and I'll call this one blue. It cannot be called default. It must have a, a variation name which is different from all the other ones. Let's say, for example, I duplicated this a second or third time and made it into a green button. I could have default blue and green. OK, but I mustn't use blue twice or red twice or anything like that. OK, now we're, we're almost done. What I do need to do, though, is I need to link the button to a particular page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the button. Now we had a conversion page already set up. So I've set up this page on my WordPress website already. So I'm going to link each of the buttons to that. Let's click done. And I'll do the same over here. Let's set. Oh, I think I already did that one. Let's go and check this one. Nope. OK, there we go. So let's do the same thing. OK, so I've linked both of these buttons to the exact same page. OK, and I'll click Done and Publish. All right. Now then, let's go and set up the conversion module so that we can actually start to gather data about this. And the way we're going to do that is go to Pages. And this is the page that I linked to. So again, because I'm using Beaver Builder in this scenario, I'm going to go in and I'm going to search for the AB split test conversion module. And here it is. And I'm going to drop it into the page. Now, there's very few settings. All I have to do really is to assign it to the red blue button test. And I'm going to say I would like it to start gathering data when this page loads. OK, so click done and publish. Now, an important thing to notice is that a website visitor will not see that conversion module. It's completely invisible to them. But this could be a page with absolutely anything on it. All that conversion module does is it's there to register when somebody clicks through with the red button and somebody clicks through with the blue button. And it's going to start gathering data and it's going to start pushing data 
into our module here, into our little test. And it will start to say red has had one click, blue has had two clicks, 100 clicks, 300 clicks, whatever. And it will decide for itself who is the winner. And we can examine what that looks like uh, from the front end. If we copy this URL and go to an incognito window, let's quickly open up an incognito window and paste the URL in. This time we've been given a red button. Let's open up another incognito window. Now it is highly likely because I've only got two versions that we'll get the red button a bunch of times. There is absolutely no way of knowing. It's more or less a flip of a coin. We might be lucky and get a blue one on the third go. Yes, there we go. So two times I got a red, one time I got a blue. Now each time your visitor visits the page, we set a cookie. And so if they saw the blue one time, they would see the blue every time. And hopefully somebody would click on this button and they would be taken to our conversion page and the invisible conversion module has just tracked one click. Let's just do that one more time. Um, let's close away that and open up a new incognito window and press the button. Maybe we'll get a red this time. Yes, we did. So I've now clicked the red button once and the blue button once and we'll go back to our dashboard, go to the settings and have a look here. And you can see that the, the button, which was default, this was our red button. It's been shown three times and one, one click. And the blue button was shown one time and it received one click. But because this data at the moment is, well, there's just no, no real winner here. Nothing's going to happen. So it says at the top, this test has only run for five minutes. Please wait at least seven days. More data is needed. But when there's enough data and there is a convincing winner, let's say, for example, the blue is the winner, the plugin will remove the red from display and will only show the blue button from now on. I hope that explains how it all works. Head over to demo.absplittest.com and you can set up a free three-day demo of the plugin to check it out.